Yo, what's going on everybody? This is Mystical. I had a normal video uploaded for today, but last night they made some insane changes on 10.2 PTR and announced some changes as well. So with that said, I'm going to go through all the changes. I'm going to show you what they did and it's actually insane changes they made here are the new changes they are to expel harm and healing elixir they also fixed our forest that it's been broken on beta for a while and yeah they're all right here these are the new ones it looks like they made some updates to our talents and they changed healing elixir so healing elixir now restores 20 percent of max health was 15 percent. so that's good any buff to healing elixir even though i'm not a fan of the healing elixir before uh, it's still pretty solid now healing elixir now triggers at 40 percent instead of 35 percent. i actually like this a lot you know i just felt like at 35 percent you're already you're pretty close to dying at 35 percent so uh it's nice that they made a change of 40 percent and then one change that they didn't announce which is absolutely insane for pvp is you can now trigger a healing elixir while you're cc'd so if you are stunned and you drop below 40 percent health a healing elixir will pop and if you drop below even further another one's gonna pop so that's insane. That is going to make our survivability absolutely broken. All right, so I am going to be doing this guy. I have two charges of healing elixir, seeing if he drops me below 50% and if a healing elixir procs, and there it is right there. Healing elixir procs right there. So right now I am in full PVP gear. I have how much health? 862,000 health and my healing elixir procs for 172 thousand and if i keep kept dying it would probably proc again a second and third time here is a screenshot from last night i dueled a windwalker named woggers who was helping me out testing some things so what we notice is healing elixir is on a timer now if you look at the talent you can see that every 30 seconds a healing elixir charge refreshes similar to vivacious vivification where every 10 seconds you get an instant vivify but this one is different where you're gonna get two char every 30 seconds you get a charge so after 30 seconds you get a second charge and then after 30 seconds, you get another charge, but you don't get a third charge. You have a second charge. So what this means is you could have two charges of healing elixir and a third ready to go as soon as one procs. So that's what this uh, screenshot is showing. So one procs, my second one procs. And then since there was already one ready to get procced or one already one charge ready, I got a third. So theoretically, if you go a whole game without proccing a healing elixir or you know a long time like a minute or two without your healing elixir proccing what you can do is you can actually have third healing three healing elixirs ready to heal you which is just absolutely freaking insane next up we have expel harm so they made some changes to expel harm which is fantastic so expel harm now costs 1.4 percent of base mana was three percent again this button hardly anyone to press so anything to make people want to press is nice expel harm healing increased by 550 50 percent it's absolutely insane and then i believe they nerfed our talents yeah they they nerfed uh the expel harm talents just because of this change right here so expel harm now deals damage equal to 25 percent of the mountain healed was 10 percent. so in case anyone didn't know expel harm does do damage so if i target this deer i feel like this should kill the deer yeah so expel harm in case anyone didn't know that expel harm always dealt damage based on how much was healed they just buff that which is really cool in pvp and pve there's a chance that it breaks cc now though so just be careful and then they also increase the range of how that happens so it goes went from eight yards to 20 yards again if you're in a keystone and you incap something you're going to trap something so, you know anything where cc can break the damage there is a chance that this expel harm can break that so keep that in mind strike the spirit now increase the healing expel harm up by up to 30 percent was 100 percent again this nerf is simply because of this healing increase right here expel harm can no longer be cast on allies during soothing mist which is absolutely so sad so so sad so it looks like expel harm is just can i just be healed on myself i could i could still use it oh wait no you can't use it while channeling soothing mist anymore i i thought that they would still let you use it while channeling soothing mist so i guess this is literally just like a quick heal these talents right here in the talent tree are located here so we have vigorous expulsion which expel harm's healing increased by five percent and critical strike chance increased by 15 percent, which is just right here it's at the start of the tree i feel like in pve most people don't even go it I think Expel Horn's mostly just used in PvP, but maybe this is going to be useful now that it's basically, it's essentially a healing elixir now. It, it heals for about 200, 220k, which is absolutely insane. The other one is right here, so Strength of Spirit. What this one is, though, is you need to get 4 Brew to get to it, which I think is not good for PvE. Because I don't even think, in when I'm Mythic Plus, I don't even go 4 Brew and get either of these talents. And the only way to get to this node right here is to get to 4, is to get 4 Brew. 
which means you also need to get the improved paralysis or root. So I don't think this can be used in PvE that much. And then finally, there's profound rebuttal, which expel harms critical healing is increased by 15%. Oh wow, something I just noticed is they got rid of refreshing breeze PvP talent with these expel harm changes. They just did <laughs> they just didn't announce it. But they removed the talent. That's crazy. Okay. So they just completely just flat out removed the PvP talent. Yeah, I think expel harm. This is gonna be very, very good for fist weavers, especially. Because I feel like fist weaving, you're, you're obviously you're in melee range, you're getting hit by mechanics in PvE, you're obviously, when you're in PvP, people are trying to hit you. So the fact that you have auto healing elixirs, which is just crazy, that'll heal you for 20% of your max health that you don't need to get bothered, that you don't need to press, and then you have expel harm that's healing for 171k, about 190k, it's pretty insane. That, that's pretty insane. I think, I think this is very, very good for fist weaving. I'd be surprised if it didn't get nerfed, I'm going to be honest, but... If it doesn't, I think Fist Weaving is going to reign supreme, especially with the yard increase as well. So, oh, look, my guess I missed uh, crit that time. So I got a 200k heal instant. There's no way this doesn't get nerfed. But that is pretty much it for me. Those are the changes that were announced last night. If you have any questions at all, please let me know. I'm more than happy to test anything you might have. And that's it. Hope everyone has a fantastic rest of the day. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you later.